we're live. Live. Okay. So, yet again, he hits record, and you have a blank, blank stare on your face. I like it. I like that. I don't even know where I'm at. Well, I'm going to tell you where you're at. Do you want to know? Yeah. I'm going to lash out at this point um, to everybody because there's been a lot of there's been a lot of chatter and a lot of uh i guess complaining if you will if you will i was going to use another word but i'm not going to because we're going to clean this one up this short brief little public service announcement if i may um because some people don't like to sign in to watch the vulgar nature of our um, you know, curse words and whatnot. What do you think? How does that make Strizzy feel? I think everybody has a right to their own opinion, and if if they don't like what they're hearing and they don't want to sign in, we'll make sure we do a show where they don't have to sign in. I like that. And you'll see just how bland and boring that could be but let me first just point out one one thing okay we're here to push the freedom of speech envelope are we not i think that's the whole reason for my existence what about you Southside? what do you think i don't give a beep <laughs> <laughs> censorship so it's not even really censorship it's the this whole premise that the social justice police have silenced us like i'll give you an example some people out there right now might be worried about sharing it starts with c remember that episode yes they might not want to post that on their facebook page or share it because of fear that someone above them might not like that or agree with it even though a, those people didn't say it. You're talking about like a job. A job. Like a boss or... Yeah, or even maybe you're sitting on a church board or, you know, okay. or anything. It right. couldn't necessarily be a job. It's just a situation where you might feel uncomfortable that, you know, and I'm just assuming that they actually like it, the person that shares it. You know what I mean? They might not. That's fine. You don't have to share it if you don't like it. But if you like it, if you agree with kind of what we're getting at and a lot of what we're saying, and you have this fear that you're going to lose some sort of position or status in life and be judged based on what you like, I mean, that doesn't seem to me like freedom of speech. Money is speech. Wait, wait a minute. I, I kind of agree with that. I mean, if I go to work, I definitely should be judged by what I believe and what I think. I mean, it shouldn't be anything to do with my performance at my job. It should be <laughs> the fact that, you know, I got a certain position or, you know, a, a title because of what I believe. Absolutely. And and what I don't say, not what I do say, but not, what I don't say. Not because of your master's degree, but because what you say is what you're saying. Right. Or what I watch. Or I what mean, you believe in. What I do in the in the confines of my own home should definitely come into play with an employer or uh, an organization, something like that. Sure. And, in fa you know, let's take it a step further because I agree with that too, right? So why not? be able your your employer should also be able to look up all your search history on your on your on your computer and personal your computer yes absolutely yeah absolutely without a doubt because if you if you are willing to look up certain things or say certain things um gosh darn it what else could you do right you could be you know I, and seriously i mean it should be a law that you have to bring your external hard drive into your place of employment. I agree. Whether you're flipping burgers and forgetting pickles at McDonald's 
or you're some sort of corporate executive. I think the world should know every single detail about you at every moment of your life, everything you've ever done. I agree. It would make things a lot easier. You wouldn't have to, you know, worry anymore uh, about who you hire or, you know, who you even work for because everybody is going to know everything about you and you will know everything about them. And there's no surprises that way. Right. And then we all should be held accountable for all those actions as well. 150%, I agree with that. Like, you should be able to be sentenced um, like, you know, like God would sentence you for impure thoughts, right? We should actually have to vocalize what we're thinking at all times, I think. Let everybody know, mm -hmm. you know. Like, maybe like a projection screen above your desk playing a movie of your thoughts at all time. And all you have to do is someone looks up and goes, ha, huh, yes, yes, I know what that person's thinking. And I'm going to judge them based on that movie. Yes. And in fact, I'm going to fire them. Well, yes. And I believe that if, if you're talking about a job, everybody should wear the same clothing. Yes, uniforms. Your uniforms uh -huh. with, with names on them. Well, right. no, no, names. no names. Why names? It should be numbers. I think more like an orange yeah. jumpsuit with like 8 to 12 numbers on the back. Or like a tag in their ear maybe. Yeah. Maybe like a, maybe like a plastic tag with a number on it um, so that you can, you know, put people orderly. Yeah. You know, Line set them, them in rows. Yes. And, you know, only let them eat and, and, and drink certain amounts of things at certain times. Monitor everything that they do. That's what I think should happen. Or, or that's uh, true freedom of speech. I believe. Bar, yes. bar barcode tattoos for each job that you've done. Like, say, for instance, you were at, you know, uh, flipping burgers somewhere. You get a tattoo, a barcode tattoo, from that particular place of employment. And if you happen to go somewhere else, they scan that and they see your your record, they see everything. Yeah, your credit score could then, be on there. And then your criminal history. Your next job, you get tattooed again. So, I mean, you could have a line of tattoos, all barcodes, so that you can be scanned. So instead that's of. That's total freedom of speech. That's Definitely. total freedom. So, so instead of, of turning in resumes and having um, interviews and things like that, you could just say, pull up your sleeve. Right. And you could just take the little beep, beep, yeah. beep, and put it all into a system, and it would come out exactly who this person is. Mm -hmm. ah, man. You're in a database already. Yep. Uh, it's, it's a nationwide, worldwide database. No matter where you go, mm -hmm. you scan your tattoo, and then you have your, your whole life history or your work history. And your credit. You, you, you got to add the credit score, okay? You have to add your hi criminal history, how many kids you have, how many, you know, um, um, times you forgot pickles or, any you know, anything. All right. Oh, well, that's all documented on your barcode record. Anytime you said anything that offended anyone, a bad word, um, yeah, then, then. you know, uh, God, you know, God forbid you don't like something and you, you vented your frustration about that. That should be on there too. They should oh, yes. know every single time. I, you know, I, I brought this up at the other show and, and I think that this could be something that would really help us in this situation too. You know, I spoke about putting cameras in the bathrooms to make sure that the employees were washing their hands. And I, I still believe wholeheartedly that should happen. Yes. But we should also be required to have in-home audio and video at all times. And that should be plugged in directly to your employer. Um, if, you're, if you go to school or the police, too. police yep. the government, everybody yep. should be able to see and hear you at all. Well, Basically like a, like a show. I mean, a show of your life. And then that's what they play on that – that screen above your desk at work. So everybody knows exactly what you've done. I, I, I'm on board with that 100%. I mean, that's really probably the freest speech that you could possibly have. And you really don't have to – somebody doesn't have to be sitting in a booth monitoring everybody. 
you, you just store it in a big massive server somewhere mm -hmm. you know and that way you can just tap in anytime somebody texts a trigger word or something like that right. um you know or if you just want to check up on somebody and just say you know i haven't looked at uh little little patrick in a while i'm gonna see what patrick's been doing and then go ah uh, -uh. we got to get rid of this guy last week did you see what he said at home to his wife yeah, that was terrible what he said. He actually said that her food was terrible. Oh, my. my. You know, I, why don't we do something like this, too? Here's, here's a better something, too, to add to it. Let's take, like, a big chunk of uh, space in, like, New Mexico, Utah, Arizona, kind of around that area, and let's fence around the a big place and just when you get, when you get out of line – you get put there, mm -hmm. and you have to stay there well, for extended periods of time. And I think uh, be retrained. If you're a driver, you should have a GPS monitor put in your car so that you can be monitored at all times. Absolutely. So that if you speed or swerve on the wrong side of the road, run a stoplight, um, it's all documented, and then you can be mailed a ticket or be called, yes. called to court. Right, you know, right. But well, all, and tracked at all times. Well, we want free speech, and we want to not have to sign in to watch videos. So I think that these things are steps that we can take as a society to ensure that our rights are 100% guaranteed for everybody, mm -hmm. right? It's equal playing field for everybody. Right. Well, and that's that's the big thing here that we're trying to, to promote is that, you know, we are all equal. We should all be treated equal. And instead of making, you know, making you sign in, um, you know, because of, you know, some bad words or anything like that, like we everybody should conform to a, a certain style of living. That just works for everybody. Yeah, I mean, there. Why, why should I be able to express myself differently from someone else that confuses things? And I think that's really what we need to to focus on. Is no confusion here. It's right. just straight line. This is what you need to be, and as long as you do that, everything is fine. I, yeah, I mean, why do we want individuals running around with no. their own ideas and their own principles and things like that? I mean, it, it just makes no sense. Right. You're absolutely right. I right. mean, this is weird because we're agreeing on everything today yes. for yes. some reason. Well, we want everybody to be exactly the same. Yeah, uh, yeah. because no, that, no way, that way you'll never have to worry about sharing a post and getting fired for it, mm -mm. having a weird thought and getting fired for it having a poor credit score and not being able to get that job or that that car that you want or anything like that. Right. Like, you know, this way everybody is monitored 100%. We stay the same. There's no confusion that right. way. Right? None. I mean, I mean, it eliminates it. Like, well, you're talking about credit scores and, and you know, like your insurance, for instance. Your, your insurance, um, you know, can be determined the, – the rate – of the premium can be determined based on your credit score, which I believe, I believe that yeah, should why happen. Not? Sure. I mean, you should definitely, if I'm going to insure you, um, As, especially if you don't miss any payments, right. And you yeah. pay on time, then you should pay your, higher your because credit, your credit score should affect your insurance. It, it but should, it, it, should make, it should make yeah. you have to pay more than somebody that might miss a payment. Right. Cause you're guaranteed to be paying them. Right. Because you have that higher score. So if we if we brought this new way of life in, everybody would just know they're going to have to pay the highest allowed premium, which is in, which is infinite. Infinite, right? yeah. yes. Your your entire basically you shouldn't have any disposable income. We should have why not? Why do we only have a couple different types of insurance? I mean, you should have insurance for each itemized thing in your life. Oh, definitely. Your kids should have their it, it shouldn't be family plans. Why are there family plans? You should have a different premium based on the age of your child and mm -hmm. and because there's algorithms out there, we could figure this out. I mean, I you know, 
And you should be taxed accordingly also. Well, you should also, oh. you should also actually, now that we're on that subject of insurance, you should also be charged based on the drivers in your area. Oh, wait a minute. They already do that. They already determine your rate based on the drivers, the drivers in your that, area. Well, that, oh, and, and not you. But that, again, is making everybody equal. Sure. And I'm, I'm totally for that. You shouldn't get special treatment based on your performance or your abilities. It should be a blanket policy for everyone. They, they do the same thing with real estate. There's houses that are, you know, well taken care of in a neighborhood. And the next door neighbor might have a dump next door. So they bring your property value down to equalize it with the, the dump next door. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And, and it's, it's perfect. Well, yeah. yeah, why speak and out they, against that? You yeah, know, your property should be less because you have someone that doesn't take care of their property. So your yes. property should be worth less. And yes. equally, they should also have to pay, even though their property is worth a lot less, they should still have to pay a premium with taxes, too. So it really should equal out that both people lose in the end when it comes yes. to financially lose. In the end, we're all winning. But financially, we should be in that top bracket. Hey, you know what? It's just you're living in you're living in the world of Strizian to Judge and you're produced by the South Side Chicago bastard. It's simple as that. So there you have it, folks. I think are we I mean I, I hope that... you enjoyed um this. Share it, like it, um, subscribe to the page. You won't have to sign in. And this should be not offensive to anyone and that's what we're looking for and we're really trying to just promote freedom of speech folks so make sure that you as a society you know do these take these steps to ensure that we're all just no more individuals that we're all the same okay because that's what we need in our society 100 we, we're headed there already mm -hmm. so let's just keep this train moving right towards let's that. expedite this process um, of not singling ourselves out now. Why wait, folks? Like it, share it, subscribe, and you can be like everyone else. And we're going to change the name of this show to Strizzy Judges Shouts Like a Absurd. So it's all one. <laughs> it's all one. <laughs> no more ands and no more produced no. buys. This thing, Strizzy Judges Shouts Absurd. That's what it's going to be. I like it. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Yeah, that 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 was uh, that was the right way to go about that. I think. So. I, I think, agree with I agree with everything that was said. <laughs> I, th I think. Thank you, and we'll end this uh, portion of the uh, session right now.